All right, guys, we're back with another how-to. Today, we're going to be talking about how to go to the second class. So as you can see, I'm level 50 with max 100% experience, and I'm just a Templar. So we're going to need our print out. We're going to come to this gentleman right here. You're going to do the recommendation quest. And that's going to have us come down to Mount Hessen and at the post. We'll come over here to Max, turn in our quest, and he will have another quest for us. So we'll, this quest is to get Dimensional Essence which I have found the best way to get it is through the Mali. So we'll just have to come on over here. Um, in this area, right around here, in the Algon ruins, you can port to Surugor and run out. It's usually a little bit quicker. Um, I'm just gonna show you all the route I usually take to get there. It's not too hard. It just does require a little bit of running. On our way we can look at the quest. So we can kill Ovis and Malice to get the Dimensional Essence. We are going to need 10 of them. I've noticed with the Mali they usually drop a 1 to 1 ratio. Uh, the Ovis don't really like to drop it. You can get it from them. But in order to save time I've usually just gone with the Mali. If you can get someone to help you kill them, it does go a lot quicker, but as you can see at level 50, they are no problem to kill. Getting town buffs does also help. I forgot to do that before coming out here. But as you can see, they were a one-to-one. -one. We can go kill a demonic Ovis. And I'll show that it's not usually a one-to-one -one with them. Um, sometimes you do get lucky. And they are a little tougher to kill. So we'll go back to the Mali and try to get the rest to finish up this quest. And again, you can always use this to look at where the mobs would be. Alright, so from here we're going to want to port back to Algon Post. And turn in the quest with Max. Which will trigger the next quest to pop up. And we have to go back to Von Schroeder. Turn it 
Turn in the quest and accept the next quest in the quest line. This one is going to have us kill the skeleton soldiers and wizards. So the easiest way to get there, I like to teleport to the camp of traders and just run down the hill right here and that'll put us right at the skeletons so we need to kill 10 soldiers uh, 10 spearmen 10 archers and 6 wizards these can be a little tougher um, although if you do have the pioneer gear they are pretty simple um, then again, we have a lot of people in the guild and people in the game in general that will help out. So if you do need help or want it to go faster, just go ahead and ask your guild mates or ask anyone who else who might also be on the quest. And the more AOE skills you have, the better, because you can just group these guys up in a big group and kill them that way. Um, I don't have any of my skills right now because I did power level this paladin up to level 50 on my warrior. And as I was saying, this this does take quite a while. Um, it's always nice to just be able to do it with a party of a few people working on the same quest or getting someone who is free to help you just go around and kill the skeletons real quick. Um, doing it that way will take probably two minutes, uh, depending on what their level is. But the more people you can get to do this or... Even if you could just get someone at level 99 to help you kill these real quick, it does go fairly quickly. I'm just doing it this way that so that way I can show y'all that it can be done by yourself. Um, you don't have to have someone doing it with you. It will take longer, but it is a fairly simple, easy quest, especially with the free gear you get out of the boxes. This is the level 50 set. It can be used at level 50, no need to hit the second class. All right.
right, so we're done with those guys. We'll have to come on up here to the top for the wizards. And we do only need six wizards. Now that we've completed this quest, we'll go ahead and go back to Regenshine at the front portal. And talk to Von Schroeder again. Which will take us into the next part of the mission. And this is by far the worst part of this whole quest line. Uh, we need to go get the Holy Grail. In order to do that, we're going to go down to Mount Hessian, the fountain. And we have to kill the bogus boxes. Now, this is a random drop. You can get lucky and get it on the first box you kill. If you're like me, you go through 150 boxes before you get it. We shall push our luck today and see if we can't get it fairly quickly. But there are quite a few boxes around here so you can kill them pretty quickly. Um, this can be dropped if you're in a party so don't worry about having to set drops just party lead and making yourself party lead it does drop to you if you are in a party with someone You can already kind of see why I called this the west, the worst quest in the quest line to get to the second class. We're about halfway done with the boxes and we still haven't gotten it. Now these boxes do respawn fairly quickly so by the time you kill all of them in here you can go back to where we started, kill those again, and they should already be respawned.
this is another one of those quests that is sped up by having more than one person. Um, especially having a level 99 come and just kill the boxes while you follow them. I mean, as you can see, it is taking me quite a while to kill these boxes. Um, not that it can't be done. It is just easier with someone else here. Um, and this is pretty much the exact route I run every time I have to do this quest. It hits pretty much every mimic box in this area. And there we go. So that was one time through. Normally it takes me about three to four. finish killing this guy and then we'll go back to Reagan shine all right we have to talk to Van Schroeder again or Von Schroeder turn in our quest Now this next one is eliminate the, tra the traitor dagger mark. For that, we're gonna go down to the forest and the agricultural mill. Just so you can see where we're running, he should be walking right along this edge he does get killed quite often daily with everybody leveling up alts and everything, but most of the time you can find them here or anywhere along this upper or lower por portion here. This is his normal route. He's fairly easy. He does have a slow skill. And then we'll just turn it back into Von Schroeder. And now he wants us to get the maximum amount of experience, which is 100%. I know it does say 99.99. If you are not at 100%, the quest is not complete. We are coming into the last few quests here. Well, if I can get this open. So now he wants a 200,000 gold contribution. Almost anybody you play with will be willing to give you 200k gold if you don't have it by now. Um, so just ask around. Most people are willing to give that 200,000. And you could turn it in. Now he's going to give you one last quest. Paladino. Now that's for Paladin class. If you're something else, it'll be called another title. There are a couple different spots. Um, it depends on what class you are. You may have to come here and turn it in. And I'll do mine here right now. As you can see, I leveled up. I'm now level 51. And I'll talk to you real quick about the other spot. So we're going to port to Sururgor and at the dock. So we're here in the dock. We're going to run out here and go to these skills. Masters. If you don't see your class upgrade in Reg, Reg and Shine, then you'll have to come here to Sarugor where you can turn in the skill or the uh, class upgrade. And that's all there is to getting your second class. Once again, sorry for the length of this video. It is quite a longer video, but there is several quests to go through, and I just want to make sure y'all saw these could all be completed at level 50 in the gear that is given to you. Um, 
If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me on Discord so I can get those questions answered for you. That'll be all for this video.